Hey everyone, welcome back to Coding for Kids. In this video, we're going to go over the differences between for and while loops in Python. We'll then go over examples to help you guys better understand it. So first, let's start with definitions. A for loop allows you to run something a predetermined number of times. There's actually a spot in the loop where you can type in a number and that's how many times the loop's going to repeat. A while loop, on the other hand, has a condition. It's going to run as long as the condition is going to is true. So in order to make sure that we don't create an infinite loop, we have to make sure to change the variable within the condition so that the condition is eventually going to become false and the loop is going to stop repeating itself. So these concepts will be made more clear when we do the examples. So let's demo this by first creating a method that prints hey. So in order to create a method in Python, we have to type in def for define, and then the name of your method. So I'm going to name my method printer. So just like that. And then you need parentheses and then a colon. So like I told you guys before, my method's just going to print, hey, so I'm going to type in print. And then since we're typing in a string, we have to use quotation marks and then hey with an exclamation mark. So that's my method. So now let's try to print this, print hey, using this method six times with a for loop and a while loop. So yeah, let's get started. So the syntax for a for loop is for i in range. And then we have to type in parentheses and a number inside the parentheses. The number is going to represent how many times the loop is going to repeat. So in this case, we want to print hey onto the console six times. So I'm going to put in six into the parentheses. And then I'm going to put in a colon. And then I'm going to call the method that prints hey. In this case, the name of that method is printer. So just like that. So when I run this, it should print hey on the console six times. So you guys can see that there. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that works. So if I wanted to print this more than six times, I have I just have to change this number in here. So the syntax for a for loop is always going to be this. It's always going to be for i in range. And you guys have to make sure that you place an indent between whatever is going to be in the method and the outside of the method so that Python knows that whatever is below this line is part of the method. So now let's do the same thing using a while loop. So in order to use a while loop, we first have to create a variable and set it equal to the number of times we want the loop to repeat. So I'm literally just going to call that variable variable. And then I'm going to set it equal to six because that's how many times I want my loop to repeat. And I'm going to type in while variable is greater than zero. So this right here is your condition. That's what's going to tell the loop how many times to repeat. Since variable is greater than six, the while loop is going to repeat for six times. So just like in the for loop, we have to call the method. So printer, just like that. And we can't just run it now because Java or not Java, Python is going to give us an error. So the reason it's going to give us an error is because variable is equal to six. Six is always going to be greater than zero. So that means that this is an infinite loop. Python's going to have like an overload error because it's going to print something an infinite number of times and it's just going to have problems. Therefore, we have to add another line changing the variable within the condition. So I'm going to do that by typing in variable equals variable minus one. So this means every time the loop repeats, it's going to reduce the value for variable by one. So the first time it repeats, variable is going to be 6. The second time it repeats, variable is now going to be 5. And eventually, it's going to reach a point where variable is going to be 0. And 0 is not going to be greater than 0. 0 equals 0. So that's when this condition is going to become false and the loop is going to stop running. So let's run it. So as you can see, hey gets printed 6 times. So that's basically how you use a while loop. So now 
let's try to draw a square using turtle graphics with side lengths of 100. And our goal is to draw the square using both a for loop and a while loop. So in order to draw a square, we first have to import turtle graphics. So I'm just going to type in import and then turtle. And then we have to make a variable declaration. So t equals turtle dot turtle, just like that. And then we need parentheses. So once again, this is our task. We need to draw a square with side lengths of 100 using both a for loop and a while loop. So let's do the for loop first. So if you guys remember, in turtle graphics, the turtle's gonna start in the center of the screen. And in order to draw a square, the turtle has to move forward, turn left, move forward, turn left, move forward, turn left, and then move forward. If the turtle does all of that, it's going to draw a square. So let me show you what, that, what I mean by that. So t dot forward 100. That's just the side length. I put in 100 because we want the side length of the square to be 100. Once it moves forward, it needs to turn left by, a ni by 90 degrees. And then it needs to move forward again. And then it needs to turn left. Okay, I'm just going to copy this code and then paste it because it's literally doing the same thing every time. So let's run it. As, there you go. So as you can see, doing this, by doing this, the turtle was able to draw the square. So you guys can see that the turtle's doing the same thing four different times. That's our clue to use a for loop. So let's get started with the for loop. So it's going to be for i in range. And then we want the turtle to do this step four times. So I'm going to put in four and then a colon. And we want the turtle to move forward and then turn left four different times. So we're just I'm just going to copy this and then paste it in here. And then remember to place an indent here. So you could do that by hitting the tab key. That mean, That's going to ensure that these two lines are inside the for loop. So let's just get rid of all this code because this shortened version does the same exact thing that this does. So when I run it, you can see that Python successfully draws a square. So that's how you draw a square using a for loop. Now let's do the same exact thing with a while loop. And I don't know why it says lookup error here. It's supposed to be loop, just like that. OK, so remember, we first have to make a variable declaration in order to use a while loop. And I'm going to just name that variable variable. And I'm going to set it equal to four, because that's how many times I want the while loop to repeat. OK, so let's type out our while loop. So while variable is greater than zero. And if you guys remember, this is our condition. So the loop is going to repeat as long as variable is greater than zero. So we want the turtle to do the same exact thing, which is drawing a square. And we want it to go forward and turn left 90 degrees four times so that it draws a square. So we can just type in t dot forward by or 100 pixels and then t dot left 90 degrees. And if you guys need help with these uh, turtle graphics commands, make sure to watch our other video. We go over all the different turtle graphics commands. OK, so anyway, this is our while loop, but it's not complete because right now it's an infinite loop since we don't change the variable in the loop itself. Variable is always going to be four, and that means it's always going to be greater than zero, which means that this loop is going to repeat forever. So in order to make sure that doesn't happen, we have to change the variable. So I'm going to do that by typing in variable equals variable minus one. 
By doing that, each time the loop iterates through itself, it's going to set variable to a value that's one less than the previous time. So the first time variable is going to be four, then it's going to be three, then it's going to be two, then it's going to be one, and then it's going to be zero. When it's zero, zero is no longer greater than zero. That means this condition is going to be false, that, and that means this while loop is going to stop running. So let me run this so you guys can see what happens. So there you go. Python successfully drew a square for us using a while loop. So this video went over how to draw, or not just how to draw, but how to use for loops and while loops in your code. So we hope this video helped, and you guys can use these loops in, your, in any projects that you're creating. And if you make anything cool, let us know. Other than that, we'll see you guys later.